Hello, the agenda for today. I'm gonna make a bag from scratch and um, yeah, I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna sew it and then we're gonna have a bag. I want to screen print it. I wanna make it like nice and cool. You'll, you'll, you'll see, you'll see. It's gonna be nice and cool. But mainly I wanna screen print one side of my worm print and I have a screen with the worm, but it's really tiny, it's like A5. In my dark room, I have a screen that it's ready to be exposed in the sun. So it's good that we have sunny weather today. I don't know if I'm gonna make it fit it all to one day, but we'll see. But anyways, I have a screen ready to be exposed and then uh, I can wash it out. Hopefully everything's gonna go smooth. <laughs> Probably not, we'll see. If it goes smooth, then I can print on the bag and it's gonna look sick. Yeah, I just need to adjust my drawing because... Okay, so this one is not the best example, but I don't wanna show it all to you because it's a pretty bad print. But that is uh, the one I did in white. I have no clue if it's focusing. If it is, you might be seeing that the middle of the apple looks weird. It looks really weird here. Look how weird it is. I wanna do uh, like Photoshop a gradient, right, right, follow me? So it's not one solid color because, I don't know, my hands are weird, I can't make a nice solid color look beautiful. So I'm gonna do a gradient and a gradient is kinda new to me, so that's gonna be exciting. And yeah, we're just gonna screen print on those bags.
the bags that I made. A little pocket in here. And, and a little pocket in here, which if you reverse it, you got a nice little classic bag with a pocket here and a pocket here. The plan is to screen print on this side and then, you know, if uh, you're feeling nice and classy, you wear the bag like this. But if you're feeling crazy and funky, you can wear it like this. Oh wow, it actually fits like even on, on my neck. Um, my bags. The butts. After an amount of suffering, I finally managed to print it out. My well, printer was plain up, but here we go. Potato room! This is my canvas. It's just I have a couple of holes in the, in the thing. Yeah, that's a hole. Bad quality, but still a hole. So I'll just have to be careful adjusting that, but I'm gonna take it to the sun. Count till... Oh, 35 seconds, and then I'm gonna wash it out. All right. Hey, oh, fuck. I wanna cry, it's always like fucking bullshit. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm midway drying it. I know it's a huge fail. What is that? It looks so bad. It went into bubbles. What is that? <sighs> oh my god, it's fucking disgusting. I think I wasn't supposed to go and do it through both sides because it went into bubbles. Like it, it just washed everything out like this. I want to smash the screen really hard. But I will finish drying it and then I'll just do a test print. I know it's gonna be a fail, but you know what? I will make use of this frame and I'm I'm gonna set it on fire. I just wanna say, let's not question this. Let's, you know, let's uh, make some beautiful prints. You know what? I'm really happy that I tried this. I'm shirtless now. I'm gonna do the shirt that I'm actually wearing. Just, you know, just because, uh, because why not? Um, I guess that's all for today. Yeah, just disappointment. Just... Okay, hello. This is a couple of days later. Um, I've realized that it's gonna take me ages to go through this process again because I have screens that I do, uh, I did degrease them. I wanna coat them with the emulsion, dry them, expose them, wash them out, try to screen print and do all of that again. So yeah, mainly what I'm saying is I'm gonna do a part two to this video. This this is it for part one. I, re I don't know, I have no clue how to end the video. This is it, part two coming at some point, hopefully this year.